Well, this is a powerful uh, emotion, and good morning, my friends. I hope it really speaks to your heart. Uh, I always say before you uh, begin your worship in the morning, uh, say your prayers to our Lord, our Savior, Yahshua, Yahweh, Abba, our Father, and then open up your Bible. And, and, and seek his word. Ask the Holy Spirit to come over you. Ask the Holy Spirit to breathe into you. Uh, this morning is no different. I am actually still on the road and staying at my uh, friend's house. A lovely accommodations. Everything is so filled with um, the spirit of Jesus Christ. I just love it here. Okay, where do I begin? Uh, for most of you who have come here have been following me so far, I have had many life-changing events. And you see that the thing that has carried me through has always been my Savior and His Word, and His Word. And He speaks to me in so many different ways. He will use people as vessels. He will use His Word. He will use devotions. He will use... You know, this is God of the universe. This is Abba, our Father. Uh, of course, he is going to speak to you uniquely. But you have to be receptive to that. Uh, since leaving Idaho, and we're not even to our destination yet, but we will be, I had to share, when I when I woke up this morning, I, I just felt this is going to be a new beginning. And not just a new beginning and a new life, but serving God in such a capacity where the old me, there is no remnants I feel anymore. I don't know what my future looks like, therefore I have to trust him 100%. And there's some very big decisions. There's some very big changes. How do you deal with that when you're, when you're standing on the precipice, when you're standing at the crossroads, and you know the way the Lord is leading you, and you really have to trust him? But you're making these big, big decisions, and you're thinking, can I do this? Lord, will you speak to me? Will you guide me? What do I have to do? And this morning I got confirmation, because this is what the Lord will do. He will confirm. He will speak to you. He will grab you by the hand and lead you, but you have to let him. Again, this morning was no different. I got up and my verse of the day was a Galatians 2.20. I have been crucified with Christ and I no longer live. But Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, the life I now live in the body, I now live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself to me. As soon as I read that, I was thinking and rejoicing and because it's exactly what I needed to be fed, because this is how I feel, that I am living a new life. The old one has been gone for such a long time, but now with, with this coming out of this, this health affliction with my spine and then my new diagnosis, which we are rebuking and I feel already being restored and healed and you know you have to believe that and then here I wake up and the Lord says I have been crucified I have been crucified in Christ and I no longer live this is what it looks like to take up your cross and follow him it can be hard but the confirmation along the road is always going to be there you're never going to be alone when you decide to follow Christ now here's the other mind-blowing <laughs> um, devotion that was sent to me by my girlfriend, um, Victoria. Uh, she is such a vessel for the Lord. It is amazing how God does use people as vessels. And he uses her mightily in my life. And she sent me her devotion, which is always usually for me. And, and this morning was no different. Um, the, the heading on her devotion, which she sent me, was, where are you moving today? Where are you moving today? And trust me, I know you at home, you're probably thinking, oh, this is for me. God is sovereign. 
I've had people from Belgium, Croatia, the Philippines, all over the world. And he connects us in such a beautiful way. So when he speaks, say to me, he may be speaking to you through this video. So listen, if you keep yourself pure, you will be a special utensil for honorable reuse. Your life will be clean and you will be ready for the master to use you for every good work. Now for me that was just fitting because I feel that God has led me here to begin a ministry for him, to go on the road and share my testimony and reach out to people and outreach. Uh, even on the way here, uh, he has given me opportunity to share his gospel and it just fed me and it was so powerful and I knew this is what he had designed me to do. And the devotion confirmed it because it started off as saying, our future, one day at a time, it is God's present to you. Every moment of every day and every thought you think and word you speak, you are making a decision to move greatness. Okay, now listen to this, and, and, and this may apply to you, because remember, you're here for a reason too. The Lord brings you here to listen. People who are here have ears to listen, eyes to see. If you make the most of every opportunity you are given, you must learn to harness and maximize the potential of your thoughts and words. That is how powerful God's words are. And you must saturate yourself with His word and put it in your heart and in your thoughts. If you are to become the champion God has created you to be, you must create a royal priestly mindset by practicing noble thoughts, habits, and disciplining yourself to speak successful, filled words. People have been asking me, what's your next step story? Stacy, are you going to see a doctor? Are you going to see an oncologist? Are you going to get chemo? You know what? This is what's going to heal me. God's word is healing me. There are so many of you who have been contacting me and telling me, sharing that um, either one, you've beat cancer, yay, and you've beat it through the power of God's word. So many. And there are others who are just going through this journey and are scared and, and are unsure. The power of God in his word will heal you. But I'm telling you people, it's not, it's not like God sees you and he sees the need and he's going to heal you. You are healed through faith. And, and, and if this isn't proof this morning when I open up my devotional, that he is speaking to me, but he's also speaking to you, you need to hear, you need to listen. And then um, after I wrote that and, and prayed over it again, I went to my second devotional because he prompted me. He says, keep going, I have more. I have more for you. I have more. And the other, <laughs> and I've said this before, God has broken me so he could remake me. This is what he does. He's the potter. We are the clay. But we have to submit to his ways in order to be broken. If you are having problems with your relationship with the Lord, you're not feeling close and you're not feeling the faith, if you're going through a tough time, remember his purpose and allow him, allow that purpose to be worked through your life. This devotional said, I am the potter, you are my clay. I designed you before the foundation of the world. Remember that. Think about how powerful that is. God designed us before the foundation of the world. Listen to this. I arrange the events of each day to form you into this preconceived pattern. My everlasting love is at work in every event of your life. Do you realize that? Do you realize that every day is orchestrated by God, that he arranges every day. And if you are walking in his way and, and with faith, you will see the richness and the beauty of what he is doing. 
He says, let my spirit guide you over treacherous water. How many of us can really raise our hands and say, we're allowing God to do it? We must get to that place. If we don't, my friends, it's not going to work. You are going to get stuck. You are going to be in mud. You are going to sink. You are going to be, you're going to be having those feelings of hopelessness. And I'm telling you, when you allow the Lord, who, who designed you, who, who created you before the foundations of the world, think about that. He has arranged everything, but you have to submit to that. And that is the key to my success in my walk with the Lord. That is why when I got the diagnosis, I was like, we got it. We got it, Lord. We got it because your fist and your heel can crush the head of and whatever is in your life that is a stronghold, that is holding you down, that is making you ill, making you sick, whatever disease or pain that you have, whatever anxiety, lay it at the foot of the cross. Allow God to arrange your day. Remember, and I'm going to end with this, this other scripture. But now, O oh Lord, you are our Father. We are the clay, and you are our potter. We are all the work of of your hand. When we remember that, God will begin to work wonders in your life. And that is why I can sit here and say, I am healed. I am healed and I'm going to be great in God's hands. God bless you, my friends.